Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Phoenix, Arizona today at Ping headquarters. Got Marty Jertson with us. Marty, we're here today because we're talking about two brand new irons from you guys. Mm -hmm. The I-210, which is going to be replacing the I-200, and then the I-500, which is really a whole new category for you. But along with those two irons now, we've got the I-Blade still as well. We've got three sort of I-Series irons, and we kind of wanted to walk golfers through each of those models, kind of how they compare and contrast, and maybe talk about who the target player for each is. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we'll start with the uh, iBlade. This is the ultimate uh, sports car control. So it's going to be our smallest blade length. It has the least amount of offset on it. It's our most heavily used iron by our PGA Tour, web.com tour players. And, and it they use it because it gives them the ultimate in shot making capability with less offset, thinnest sole design. It's going to be a little more crispy through the turf. It's going to stick a little bit more in the turf. It doesn't have as much bounce as the other uh, I-210 and the I-500 iron. In our tour players and in tournament golfers really like that sensation. Um, so you can think of that one as, as a, a sports car. You're going to have very tight handling with that iron to move the ball up and down, left and right. Um, that's a really good iron if you, as the player, bring plenty of speed and distance to the table. Okay. So if you're not looking to adjunct your distance with the iron, premium on shot making and distance control and precision, that's going to be the, the, the place to go. So the I-210, tell us how that sort of works into the mix in the I-Series. Yeah, now the I-210 is going to be a jump up in size from the I-Blade. So it's going to be quite a bit bigger in just heel toe length, uh, but still extremely versatile. So it's going to give us a lot more forgiveness, uh, mishit forgiveness, than the iBlade. Uh, this iron is our number one iron in the LPJ Tour. It makes up about 20-25% PJ Tour uh, players because you still get really good distance control precision, but you bring in a lot more perimeter weighting, a lot more cavity back weighting. So we have a lot of weighting to the perimeter. We have elastomer weight. This is also our best feeling iron, the I-210. So if you're looking for that mushy, ball stays on the face a long time, impact sensation, the I-210 is the place to go, and it also has quite a bit more bounce than the iBlade. So if you're steep, you take big divots, if that's kind of your tendency, this is going to be a great place to go for fitting your turf interaction. The I-210 is going to give you a little bit more through the turf. Okay, and then I-500 really sort of filling a new category for you guys as sort of that player's distance iron. Yeah, the I-500 is kind of a mind-boggling iron. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, uh, it looks pure. Uh, it has the offset of an eye blade. Uh, the, the sizing of it is close to the I-210, the heel-toe kind of sizing. Uh, sole width is between eye blade and I-210. But what the I-500 uh, does, and the best way to think about it, it gives you the distance of our G700 or G400. So it gives you distance of our G-series iron in a size closer to the eye blade. And so that's what makes it mind-boggling. And again, uh, it, it's fun. it'll be fun to get this in the market and have people demo this. So you get all the workability characteristics of the thinner sole, the, the very low offset, uh, as we've talked about, but the distance of our G-series iron. Very, very mind-boggling fun and it's a new category we're kind of calling the player's power. Yeah and interesting as a hollow bodied iron a little bit different feel as well from the other two. Yeah no doubt about it so we've kind of characterized the feel of the I-500 as being ballistic because number one the ball does travel out there like a like ballistic in a ballistic fashion uh, and it does have a you know you, you can sense the ball speed from the face where the I-210, we're driving really mushy feel with the elastomer that we're calling activated elastomer that gets squeezed during the impact interval. Really fun, unique options here, depending on what you're looking for from workability, distance, feel, gapping. And uh, now with the I-500, we have an option for distance in a, in a small, very small package. Yeah, so if you're a second swing customer looking at a new set of irons, want to consider paying, some great information from Marty there to help you maybe pick the iron that might be best for you. Of course, we'll take your old set of irons in on trade, get you in a new I-Series iron, help you play better golf. Marty, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Chris.